let's review. We're just about done. We just got to braze in the line set at the condenser and run fresh air from the furnace. Anyway, here's our return plenum. It's kind of tall. I hear you. All right, if you look at the furnace itself, it's tall. Uh, you know what? I'm a human. I made a mistake. I should have angled down a little bit here, gone across, but at the end of the day, it looks great. And they weren't using this space. And they're not using this space, and it's just for the furnace, and they just store ladders and stuff in here. But yeah, I'm sure you guys will comment on why is the, why is the return plenum so tall? It's too big, not needed. Eh, you know what, end of the day, the more air, the better. This is another plenum, return plenum. This is 14 by 14. It goes up to the first floor as well. On this, I mounted the Honeywell HZ311. This zone panel can control up to three zones. We're only using two. Off of here, I'm running a flex through a crawl space into an adjoining room where we created it, we made it a zone with its own thermostat. It's a break room for the client and they wanted to be able to control the temperature. I recommended putting in a uh, like a Fujitsu ductless mini split, like a, a 9,000 BTU unit, but they said, you know what? We're already uh, spending a ton of money on replacing the furnace and the HVAC and the air conditioning and do we doing some duct work? Might as well put that in. So, okay. And because of that, we added this 12 inch Honeywell return bypass. And it operates over pressure. There's no wiring involved with it. You set it, you calibrate it, and it will allow the furnace to not short cycle. Um, because if only this zone is on up here, sorry, right there, and the other zone is off, you know, the furnace will overheat and it'll go off on high temperature limit. So we added that in as well. And that goes from the supply to the return like that. This is a true zone automatic damper. And there's another true zone automatic damper over there. All right. Let's take a look at the furnace. This is the carrier 92 percenter. We still got to cut in a return uh, fresh air right there. We'll do that. It's still early. It's only like 9.30 in the morning on Friday. We'll be done. I got my line set in, my wiring for my condenser and my uh, thermostat wire from the furnace control board, which goes to the zone relay. It's very easy to wire, guys, very easy. This side is equipment. You must use its own dedicated transformer, which is what R and C is here, right? I ran eight wire, so I had had an extra wire or two left. And I could have cleaned this up a little bit, but equipment gets wired there. Zone one damper, zone two damper, zone one thermostat, zone two thermostat. Pretty simple. Kelvin. Hello, Kelvin. Hi, Mike. What's doing? T set. Are you doing it the right way? Yes. Is it gonna take you an hour this time? No. No? No. I hope not. Kelvin, you have uh, quite a fan base already. Why? I don't know, people asking for Kelvin t-shirts. Already? Yeah. Then. So I said, <laughs> like, you know what? If he's if he makes the one year mark, then we're gonna start merchandising. You know, and to, to help pay, uh, you know, help him pay for his education, his schooling maybe, you know, or a little stipend. You know, travel stipend to go to uh, more classes. Maybe we can go to South Korea and see Navian Factory. That would be awesome. That would be awesome, right? Navian, you hear that? At Navian Tankless. Kelvin wants to go to South Korea. I wouldn't mind going too. I don't think Mike would either. Where, Mike, where are you? Let's go into the hazardous waste storage area. Ooh. There's Mike. Kelvin, say hi. Kelvin's cleaning the field piece, HCFM vacuum pump. It's a little dirty. Little oil residue on top of there. But we got the uh, True Blue evacuation set ho and hoses. 
with the blue vac pro it's upside down but we're at 166 microns in about five minutes phenomenal investment these hoses they're expensive and so is that micron gauge but let me tell you it works very well don't you agree kelvin yes we did we used those last year with those fujitsus we put in remember i think that was one of your first jobs we did together right yeah, with mr uh mr anthony yeah mr anthony that's right in franklin square the guy who had the uh the the garden on the side of his house the one yeah the va cadillac right yep and he had the uh he had the old school uh, Pontiac in the garage. Yeah. 125 microns. 121. 120. 196. That should just keep dropping. Sorry. 117. 116. Look at that. Phenomenal. We're going to get below 100 microns with this thing. And then we'll do a decay test and see if it holds. Stay tuned. Finishing up the decay test. Holding at 282. 83, I just touched the hose. 283 microns, look at that. And not too bad with the brazing considering it's been all winter long since I brazed. I can't find the service wrench. Isn't it in the pouch? It's in the, uh, the tool bag on this one of those side thingies. Yeah, let's bring it up here. Calvin's wrapping up the uh, oxy and acetylene uh, setup by Uniweld. Regulators are all fucked up. I'm gonna have to uh, get new regulators. But wrapping it up with this carrier, two and a half ton. 16 sear condenser doesn't match the ream or the fujitsu but they got a phenomenal job here if you need an hvac system whether it's a new install don't call us i like to do replacements you know new installs usually come with new construction new construction normally comes with contractors i don't like contractors because they usually take from peter to pay paul they might got the veto the veto Tech XL tool bag. By the way, things like over a year old and it's still performing like a champ. Nothing's torn, nothing's ripped. Everything works 100%. Vito, Vito Pro Pack. This is the Tech XL.